గ్యారంటీ సార్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ చిల్డ్రన్ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టుడే విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ రిగార్డింగ్ ది మ్యాప్ వర్క్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇన్ యువర్ సిలబస్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ ఇట్ మే బి యూస్ఫుల్ ఫర్ యువర్ నైన్త్ క్లాస్ అండ్ మ్యాప్ పాయింటింగ్ సిన్స్ అవర్ సిలబస్ ఇస్ ఆల్రెడీ ఓవర్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఎంగేజ్ సో దే ఫోర్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ ట్రై టు డిస్కస్ రిగార్డింగ్ ది మ్యాప్ వర్క్ important nuclear power stations in india important nuclear power stations in india so here in india there are six important nuclear power stations these nuclear power stations located different states of the country which are the these six nuclear power stations located in india right now so let's take down the all the nuclear power stations then we'll discuss each power station located in which state first we would like to discuss we'll discuss name of the nuclear power station and the same power station which is located in which state right right away. important nuclear power stations in india number 1 Nauda, N-O-I-D-A, Nauda. Number two, Ravatpat. Ravat, number two is Ravatpat. Number three, Kakrapana. 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 Number one, Nauda, N-O-I-D-A, Nauda. Number two, Rawat Bhatt. If you want to write down the bracket, Kota. Kota is familiar, you know. Kota is familiar. It is in Rajasthan. Good administrative center and good education center. Okay? For your reference, ah, Rawat Bhatt or Kota. Kota means it is in Rajasthan. Rawat Bhatt. Third one is Takra Bhatt. Fourth, Tharapur. Tara, Tharapur. Fifth one is your state, that is Kaila. Fifth one is Kaila. Last one is, that is in Tamil Nadu. Kalpakam. Kalpakam. Yes. Third one is Kalpakam. last is alpha so there are the six nuclear power stations how many are there there are six important nuclear power stations in india number one nauda ravatpur kakrapara arapu kaiga and kalpa these are the name of the nuclear power stations important nuclear power stations number one is nauda ravatpur Kakrapara, Harapu, Kaiga and Kalpakam. Kalpakam. Kalpakam or you can say Kundakulam. Yes. Recently they have started one more power station in Tamil Nadu. There are two nuclear power stations. One is in Kalpakam near Chennai. Another one is there is one more uh, power, nuclear power station recently started in India. That is Kundakulam. That is also in Tamil Nadu. So there are two other places. but in our curriculum they have mentioned only kalpakam so far they have not mentioned in uh, textbooks that kundakulam they have not mentioned clear just to aware the information so now these are the important nuclear power stations what are those kalpakam arapu akrapara kaiga ravatpat namma these all six power stations you should be in fingertips is all six nuclear power stations should be in, in your fingertips like 2 1 2 2 4 2 3 6 i say 
Okay, boy. These four studies should be finger slip days. Be very very important for your competitive examinations. Not only for the sake of your map pointing, exams to point for you. Competitive examinations. Every time they ask you about nickel power stations and thermal power stations and fossil fuels. Okay. Minerals, industries. Okay. All this all related to general knowledge. They are all related to your general knowledge. You have to update day by day. So therefore, if one has to aware these important nickel power stations. Place to the now. Once again, I repeat. Nauda, Akrapara, Ravatpai, Kaiga, Kalpakam, and Tarapu. Nauda, Ravatpai, Akrapara, Tarapu, Kaiga, and Kalpakam. Clear? These are the six nuclear power stations. Now we will come to each power station where it is located. For example, take Nauda X. Nauda you take this in UP, Uttar Pradesh. Now I will take this in Uttar Pradesh. Right? Next, second one, Ravadbad. Ravadbad, I said it is a quota. You know, it is Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Ravadbad, it is in Rajasthan. Next, come to third one is Kakrapara. Kakrapara, Gujarat. Kakrapara, it is in Gujarat. And fourth one that is Harapu. Harapu nuclear power station located in Maharashtra state. In Maharashtra. Maharashtra. Harapu it is in Maharashtra. Next come to Kaiga. Kaiga come to it is in the state, yes, it is in your state. Kaiga is in Karnataka state, yes. Karnataka. Kaiga is in the position, it is in Karnataka. The last one comes to, it is Kalpaka, that is in Tamil Nadu. That is in Tamil Nadu. It is in Tamil Nadu. These are the six nuclear power stations, yes. The state you have to do one is Nauda it is in UP, Ravatpat, Rajasthan, Akarapara it is in Gujarat, Harapu in Maharashtra, Taiga it is in Karnataka, and Kalpakam it is in Tamil Nadu. Kalpakam it is in Tamil Nadu. Now it's clear, I said six new power stations, and with all of these six power stations located where in the following states. One is UP. Second is Rajasthan, third one is Gujarat, fourth one is Maharashtra, fifth one is Karnataka, and sixth one is Tamil Nadu. Sixth one is Tamil Nadu. So UP, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu's power station is there, Kalpa. Karnataka's nuclear power station, Kaya. Maharashtra's nuclear power station, Tarapu. Gujarat is the English position, Kakarapara. Rajasthan is the English position, Ravadpad. UP is the English position, Nauda. Even this can be asked for in multiple choice, or you can, they may ask for in multiple choice, even match the following ones. One side they will give you all the English positions, another side they will give you all the states, and match this following. Match the following. One side, all the new positions. Other side is, they can mention all the states. They can mention all the important states. So we can mark this. For example, Nauda, Uttar Pradesh, Ravadabad, Rajasthan, Akrapara, Gujarat, Harapu, Maharashtra, Kaiga, Karnataka, and Kalpata. Clear? Otherwise, we can write yes. Now you know which are the nuclear power stations in India. Yes, there are six. What are those? Nauda, Ravadbat, Kakrapara, Tharapur, Kaiga, and Kalpaka. 
Clear? After knowing this each power station located in which place? Yes. So Nauda, it is in Uttar Pradesh. Rawatpat, it is in Rajasthan. Kakarapara, it is in Gujarat. Then Tharapur in Maharashtra. And Kaiga in Karnataka. And Kalpakam, it is in Tamil Nadu. Kaiga in Karnataka, Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu. So this is how one can learn. One can identify. This is related to map. Yes, very important. Children, please learn. Write down first. Write down all the weekly portions in one side. On the side is write down all the space. You can match it. Clear? Any doubt, children? So, this class, today we are discussing about important weekly processes in India. What are the six important weekly processes? It is written already. One is Mauda, Ravalbai, Akrapara, Aravu, Aida, Kalpa. And these four sessions located in the following states. Here, one is Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. Clear? Now you can match the case. My dear, GTA is with this is about to be very, very careful. Simply play no competitive word. You should Grab as much as you should collect the information as much as. Okay, so therefore you have to be able to day to day information, you have to collect it and you have to memorize. Yes, subject is in different and general is different, right? Okay, you have to update. Yes, by updating, you will be very confident and with any examination, very confidently we can. This one. Because you see why you are competent to examinations, you are writing, but our results, I mean, published results, our number is not good. That means you are not qualified. That means our, we are very good in general knowledge. That means you are not prepared. You don't have knowledge. You are simply applying and reading because you are not preparing. That means sufficient knowledge you don't have. That is our weakness. So therefore, right from the beginning, right from the beginning, Right from the childhood, we should start reading the newspapers. We should read, start reading the magazines. We should read, uh, prepare various uh, books. Education today, you know, different uh, periodicals, different magazines. Apart from these subjects, subject is not only important. Subject is only for the sake of marks and the subject knowledge. Whereas this is overall. This is a overall knowledge, general knowledge is very well. general knowledge is everything, yes. What is environment? Environment is everything, everything surrounding us. That is what is environment. So, like environment, subject plus other information, we have to collect, yes. We should be all around them, not only academically good and curriculum uh, good and school students who are poor, not like that, yes. Being a science school student, we should both, we should be good in both. That is all around, all, all around development, yes. You should be good in curriculum also, at the same time you should be good in co-curricular activities, right? So please try to inculcate the habit. First of all, you should inculcate the habit. Take interest, read, magazines, collect it, ask. So you should put a lot of efforts. Okay, simply sitting and doing okay, exams and I can take information from our friends, it's not work out. You have to work out, you have to study it out. Okay? Understood what I said? Yes. Today we have discussed this important digital process in India. Where these four sessions located in India? We have discussed. Any doubt, children? No doubt? Okay, thank you.